Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Today I got a special idea that I wanted to try and um, I tried this before but it kind of the video wasn't just a nice scenery and it wasn't just a nice video so I'm doing it again. It's been quite some time since I tried it and um, yeah, not the most creative idea but I am talking about mixing together two different rolling tobaccos so yeah i just thought of it and um, i guess this is a nice idea to really get the rest out of um, the like crumbly tobacco that is left when it's almost empty and um, yeah i guess when you mix it together with new tobacco then it kind of becomes less crumbly and more pleasant to roll and smoke also burns longer that way but not as long as a normal road cigarette with new tobacco burns. So yeah, um, well, the thing is paper tobacco has a very lively taste, a very, um, I'd say quite a dark taste and um, just very moisturized in itself. And um, Weblo on the other hand has this um, rounded kind of mellow taste to it, Pueblo Blue specifically because Pueblo Beige is not like that at all but Pueblo Blue yeah, has more of this rounded mellow taste uh, not as lively and a little bit more dry than the Pepe Tobacco so yeah um, I think I'm gonna get a quick thumbnail here just because I guess this is the... Oh, no, wait, I think I'm gonna make a thumbnail when I get a cigarette all rolled up and all lit up and then we're gonna take the thumbnail photo. So yeah, my idea is I have this um, kind of card wallet thing. There's a little bit of tobacco left in it. Uh, there was uh, before there was uh, kind of these slots for like credit cards or other cards kind of thing. And so I ripped it out and now I have this kind of box for my cigarettes so yeah pre-made cigarettes fit in here and road cigarettes fit in here too so yeah i'm just gonna take a little crumb take some little crumbs put them in here take some more crumbs put them in here uh work on some other tobacco and then mix them together so that's kind of the idea here so while i do this i can kind of say what i am expecting here i'm expecting this to be a actually very pleasant experience I think um, the two tastes of Pueblo Blue and Pepe Rich Green complement each other very well. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So yeah, oh, let's get this the nice feeling when you open up a new pack of to tobacco. Nice. So yeah, oh, it's really densely packed. Oh, love the taste. L taste. <laughs> Love the smell. So yeah. Let's get this all closed up. Alright. There we go. The Pueblo tobacco here is actually actually a little bit darker than the Pepe tobacco. But uh, well, let's mix this all around. Let's just kind of blend it together. I'm making my own tobacco blend right now, who would believe it? Uh, the thing is, the crumbly tobacco from the Pepe is kind of um, falling through the Pueblo tobacco. So I gotta kind of figure this out and I don't know, there must be a way. So yeah, um, let's get a filter out of here and let's get a GZ green cape and well let's just get this tobacco right here in my cigarette pave and take some crumbs from the pave tobacco put it over here let's get some more and let's roll this thing out this is gonna be dense this is a little bit too much tobacco I'm just gonna make a strong cigarette I'm just, I'm not gonna make it too dense, I'm just gonna make it um, more large 
because I want I am kind of wanting a nicotine buzz right now because I've been smoking raw recently um, as I said in another video where I think I reviewed the Dunhills I said I was in a hospital um, I still am and there is kind of nothing more to do than kind of be on your phone and smoke so yeah I'm smoking more recently and I'm getting less nicotine buzzes so yeah there it is uh, <laughs> Yeah, kind of looks like a joint, but well. So, I want to smell the blender actually really quick. Yeah, not much smell going on, I think. Does Pepe have a strong smell? Yeah, not really. I mean, you can smell it, but it's not really strong. Not really strong at all. Um, yeah. So, got my nice lighter here, and um, I'm thinking, I'm just gonna go ahead and light this thing up. So yeah, cheers. First off, I just noticed, really nice body of smoke. Yeah, that's really good. That is really good. And it is pretty strong. It is pretty strong even though um, Pepe Rich Green isn't the strongest one from the Pepe lineup. I don't know what the strongest one is called but it's a more uh, dark green. And Pueblo Blue also is the light variant. Uh, there's Pueblo Beige which I also reviewed with a friend together. I made a review kind of in a duo video. But yeah, this is not a strong variant, but still the cigarette is pretty damn strong. Yeah, I'm really feeling it. But regarding the taste... Yeah. You really kind of got this little rounded taste from Pueblo Beige. I'm not a big fan of it, but um, now it's toned down a little bit. And it's actually quite enjoyable. But also mixed with the liveliness of Pepe tobacco. And it, I just gotta say it really complements. These two tobaccos really complement each other pretty well. So let's now get a quick thumbnail in. Alright. That should do. But yeah, it's, and it does get uh, dry in the throat, I gotta say that. <coughs> it does hurt my throat a little bit. So maybe I wrote it a little bit too, um, too uh, intense. But I am bust right now. <laughs> I am bust, I gotta say that, and it, it is nice. But let's get, uh, let's try to get a nicotine bus on purpose. So let's take three or four hits I'm gonna see, and I'm gonna tell you how it is. Alright, let's get this to set in, kind of. Whoa. Yeah, I am bust right now. <laughs> I am bust. Uh, more of a head bust, actually. I'm kind of feeling lightheaded and just enjoying the scenery. I mean, for me, the scenery isn't too nice right now. Kind of using my wallet as a tripod. I actually just today ordered a real tripod for my smartphone. So I can kind of um, have you guys at eye level, like right now, but without this um, thing right here in front of me. And just have better videos overall. But yeah, we're going in the bus. Um, yeah, it's kind of toning down right now. But still pretty damn, pretty damn strong. Um, yeah, not really this bus we are aware of sounds, which I normally have. Just a nice chill feeling. Just a nice head boss and overall just, uh, you know, yeah, just a sure feeling. I hope the 
the wind isn't too strong. But if it is, then I'm gonna try out a new feature in my phone. I have the Pixel 8 right now. And it has um, the feature to remove wind from a video, like the sounds of wind. Which I'm very excited to try actually. If this, uh, if this microphone right here picks up on the wind. I'm also thinking I would try out using the back camera because I'm using the front camera right now because I'm kind of more comfortable with uh, seeing what I'm filming but I guess I gotta get used to it somehow, someday and yeah but yeah, uh, back to the cigarette It's getting a little bit lighter right now uh, there's more of the Pueblo taste in this part of the cigarette so it didn't quite um, didn't quite make the best mix so like not really evenly mixed uh, throughout the cigarette paste but um, well yeah a little bit of a chemical taste right there just a little bit like this um, little me metallic taste actually but not too bad so it's not really bothering me like it was with um, Marvin cigarettes when I reviewed those I think so now I now I kind of force myself to upload that video first because I don't upload them right away but you know I gotta do that <laughs> otherwise this won't make sense but yeah this is definitely the Pueblo taste coming through right now not the Pepe taste so yeah, let's get two more puffs of the cigarette and then we're gonna be done so let's put this out just gonna remember to take the cigarette bottle with me so yeah let's get a quick sip of water in because my throat is kind of dry right now Um, yeah, all right, mixing two tobaccos um, together, what are my thoughts? I'm thinking this is actually a really nice um, experience, a really nice experiment also to kind of create a new experience, kind of try something new and um, just create your own cigarette, your own personal taste. You can um, kind of tinker with the mixture actually to really make it um, your own, to really make it your own experience. And yeah, definitely gonna use the rest of this mix to get our tobacco here because this was a really nice experience. I gotta say so, this was a really, really nice experience thinking I'm gonna give this a solid 10 out of 10 um, yeah it's just I mean yeah it's kind of hard to mix it together I mean you can do it without a thing like this you can also just take a cigarette paper and make it half half you can make it so that you first smoke one tobacco and then smoke another and there's the filter or just kind of make it like first tobacco, second tobacco, first tobacco, second tobacco, or something like that. Or make it fade from one tobacco to another. Just like that, you can really make your own cigarette with this. It's a really nice experience. It's yeah, just something you should definitely try if you are into rolling your own cigarettes. Um, yeah. So, mixing two tobaccos together, 10 out of 10. Can definitely recommend this if you're trying, if you want to try something new. So yeah, I guess that's all there is to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Maybe even comment if you liked it. Comment if you didn't like it so I can improve upon that. And if you want to see more of this, make sure to subscribe. Alright, I'm out. Peace.